faith because they don't know what to do when they don't have social media. I promise you, God, that they don't even have a Bible in their house that they can open and read because they're so busy posting and they're not busy receiving. My God, they're so busy trying to be a Facebook preacher and they're so busy going on Facebook and they're not putting their face in the book. I promise you that if you let me touch some things that they will not serve you. Number two, be aware of the opposer's strategy. You have to know how to recognize. You have to know that he's going to do everything he can to get you to slip. He's going to do. I, I, was, I, I was in the midst of, 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 of one of my members not too long ago. And the, 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 the brother was, was hammering something. And uh, he, 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 he did something. He hit his hand here. And then he said, oh, oh, sorry, Pastor, I slipped. You slipped. Is it wet? What do you mean you slip? If we're going to win, we're going to have to change our lifestyle. We're going to have to stop slipping. We're going to have, oh, oops, I don't even know what I did last night. Oh, yes, you do. You know exactly what you did last night. Oops, I don't know what I had to drink. Oops, I don't know who I lay with. Oops, I don't know. Look at your neighbor say, time's out for oops. If we're going to win, our winning is going to have to be strategic. And you, Chris, you're going to have to strategically say, there's some places I'm not going to go. There's some people I'm not going to hang with. There's some conversations I'm not going to have because I'm in this to win this somebody shout winning is strategic point number three you're gonna have to organize your defense if you're gonna win you're gonna have to say Rafer come here you got to say Carter come here you gotta say Chris come here Come on, come on. You, you, you have to say, come here, come here, come here. You have to say, y'all y'all, y'all stand in the front. You, you're going to have to learn to turn that way. You're going to have to learn how to organize your defense. What does it mean to organize your defense? To organize your defense means being careful with how you respond. How do you respond to adversity? Come on, you, you got to know how to put faith in play in your defense come on you got to know how to put courage in place in your defense come on you got to know how to put the power of god in place in your defense come on god can i get a couple people come here come here come here come here somebody come here come here just come 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 so 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 every time thank you so every time adversity try to come and adversity come up against you come on come on you say listen i don't know i ain't got to curse you out today i don't have to complain today because i have my defense already strategized because david understood his defense when david said yay though i was Walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I'm not going to feel no evil because thou art with me because I've strategized my defense. Listen, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. She just said, I'm tired. Yeah, you better understand the devil going to get tired before God get tired. Because when you strategize your defense, you keep your faith in place. So then, guess what? Financial situation. Come here, Willie. Run, 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 run. Come on, get, get, try to get through here. Financial situations try to come. In your marriage, heartache try to come. In your path, the devil try to remind you of your past. And I'm telling you, when you begin to strengthen yourself in God, Something begins to happen. Hold off, Willie. Hold on. Not only must you strategize your defense, you must strategize your offense. Come here, McDuffie. When you strategize your offense, because the purpose of offense is to move forward. The purpose of the offense is to move forward so that we can make a touchdown. You, you all get over here. The purpose of the offense is so that we can, and the enemy want to do everything he could try to do. Do you know there's only one devil? And he's not as big as God. So what happens is you say, I'm moving forward. No matter what comes, uh, no matter what goes, uh, I'm going to move forward. And the enemy say, I'm going to try to do everything that I can do to keep you from moving forward. 
Come here, son. Yeah, you come here. Willie, sit down. Come here, son. Yeah, come here. The truth of the matter is, when the enemy comes, it's only one devil. But the devil comes. Come here, John. John, y'all, y'all come here. You and do it. The devil comes in many forms. But the truth of the matter is, are y'all ready to get me? The truth of the matter is, y- y- y'all come up. Love Fellowship, God wants you to know, yes, the enemy is attacking, but this is what the lineup looks like. In your home, this is what the lineup looks like. Y'all ready? Y'all try to get to me. Come on. Come on. All right, wait, stop, 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 stop. And this is what happens. This is what happens when you think that the mistakes you're making is not a big deal. The devil gets through. This is what happened when we start playing pity pat with the devil. Nah, nah, you know. This is what happened when we start having the wrong conversations. Although our God is bigger, the enemy always find a way to penetrate your spirit because of what somebody said about you, or what somebody did to you. Or somebody shot the devil is a liar.